And so it's just the more time she's on stage, the more confidence it builds. And the more that she gets to play different characters, she just kind of gets to test out the waters and, you know, see where her fit is and, and have those different experiences. So I think she's grown as an actor, absolutely. I feel so much smarter, <laughs> especially when I'm doing theater, because obviously I'm involved in that. And my vocabulary is substantially larger because of this, and I'm so much better at dealing with text, which is a huge thing that we do here, and that is a gift that I can't belittle. Because to give adolescents a chance to like read and translate something for themselves and, and not to feed it to them immediately, you know, that's huge. At least for me, that was a really cool moment of independence for me, and I felt respected and listened to, which is huge. I, I don't get that a lot of other places, especially in the theater community. Mm. Got to New York, it was great. I had violent food poisoning. Uh, but I still managed to perform, and I think a lot of that is thanks to Groundlings, because I felt, not only just from Groundlings, but from my, my friends and family at home, this huge amount of support, and I think that really gave me the courage to get up on stage, even though I was so sick. And I was so appreciative of that. And also that I could still, like, perform. I obviously wasn't on my A game, but I made good choices, and I did good things on stage. I know that, and I got a lot of comments about that, and I think my ability to make good choices and to make the text so understandable like that is definitely thanks to Groundlings. But uh, studying the text, getting my school to do it, it felt, it felt, I felt self-actualized because I had decided to do something and I went out and I did it and then I was successful at it and it felt great. <laughs> I've, I've gotten smarter, I've made a ton of new friends, I've developed great self-confidence in myself and my acting and my kind of stage presence. Um, I, I think I've, there's just been so much to take away from it, it's so hard to choose what I like most about it. In terms of self-confidence and self-esteem, um, Jonah and Emma are both really comfortable in their own skin, I think, but they're also very different people. And I think I've seen the two of them really blossom nicely uh, in the Groundlings program and at the summer camp. I know as a, as a teacher that that's really important to learning. So I think that's part of why they really love being a part of the Cincinnati Shakespeare Company orbit.